I remember the day I uh, got home and I told my dad to sit down and then I told him I wanted to switch from a career in banking to a career in video games. I had to calm him down a bit. It took him a good few months to really come to terms with the decision. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I didn't know I had to tell my parents. So I didn't tell my parents. It's very hard for me to tell my family what it is that I actually do. Like they have somehow in their minds, they think that I'm playing computer games all day. I was taking my studies in computer engineering and uh, I told my dad who really wanted to go to school as, a, as an animator. And he said, no way, you're not doing that. You're finishing your studies. I was in my third year of law school when I told my parents I wanted to work at Ubisoft. And they were like, what's that? Is that a law firm? And I said, no, it's a video game company. And they were like, oh, I've never heard of it. They were really kind of shocked because uh, this is not a, a real, let's say, job. They didn't think this was a, a thing. My dad was afraid. They are Cambodian civil war refugees. Their only goal was to earn money and just enough money to have a better life. He told me, uh, honestly, I didn't believe in you at all, but today I'm proud of you. My mother started me making video games when I was about eight years old. She learned how to program herself and then taught me how to do it. So I was making my own video games ever since I was a little kid. My house burned down when I was nine years old and we were left with nothing, no toys, um, nothing between the three brothers. And we would use catalogs and basically bring to life uh, role-playing games using you know, pen and paper and our own imagination. From there, my mom kind of knew that I was going to explore something from that creative side. And she's always been super supportive of uh, that endeavor. My mom was uh, super supportive. She just gave me a thumbs up and said, go for it. Uh, my dad was supportive as well, but um, he thought it was uh, super childish and that I'm going to grow out of it one day. So uh, now I'm 37 and I still haven't grown out of it. And uh, I think he's very happy for me. He sees how happy I am. You know, sometimes she'll try and tell her friends, oh, my daughter writes for video games. And they'll say, oh, what's that like? And she'll say, uh, I think she makes the words come out of the character's mouths. So, you know, bless her. <laughs> she supports me and uh, that's all that matters. Now he's happy for me. So I'm glad I did and didn't hide it. Don't, don't hide it. <laughs> Explain to them that being in the video game industry isn't just about sitting there all day long playing video games. If your parents support you, then that's great for you. But if your parents don't support you, you should just tell them anyway. Because I think that having your dream job is worth the risk. Just be honest, I think. Uh, let them know that you're passionate about it. Let them know why you want to go into this. Don't choose a career with your brain, but choose something that your heart tells you to do, even though that sounds really cheesy. <laughs> <laughs>